Hey there, welcome back to the channel. The last video I did was all about the Charlotte Fire Department and wanting to be fair and give full coverage. This video I'm going to talk about the other departments in Mecklenburg County. So without any further ado, this is going to be all about the departments of Mecklenburg County. Battalion 2, Engines, 11, 27, 7, and 22, Investigator 1, Ladder 27, and Safety 1, House Fire, 601 Maple Street, Army, Echo, Battalion 2, Engines, 11, and 27. I want to start this video with a little bit of an explanation. This video is really going to be kind of a 40,000 foot view of the fire departments in Mecklenburg County. I want to briefly go over the structure and the layouts and how the county fire service is set up and then a quick overview of each of the departments that currently exists in the county. In the future, I will do some more detailed videos about the individual departments and their history. But for this video, we're going to keep it at a fairly high overview level, if you will. Mecklenburg County is located in southwestern portion of North Carolina in the Piedmont region and has an area of approximately 550 square miles and a population of 1.1 million people, making it the second most populous county in North Carolina. The county seat and major city in Mecklenburg County is Charlotte. And Charlotte comprises more than half of the county with more than 312 square miles and a population within the city of 875,000 people. The remainder of the county is incorporated into one of six towns in the county or still remains unincorporated. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my previous video that was all about the City of Charlotte Fire Department. As I discussed in that video, in 1959, the state of North Carolina revised laws that governed how cities and towns could annex areas adjacent to their boundaries without permission from those residents. As a result, over the next 40 years, communities in North Carolina expanded rapidly. I discussed Charlotte's expansion in the earlier video. However, other towns in Mecklenburg County also took advantage of these laws and expanded their boundaries over the next 40 years. In Mecklenburg County, this included the towns of Davidson, Cornelius, and Huntersville to the north, as well as Pineville, Matthews, and Mint Hill to the south. During this period of expansion and growth, the state, working with the counties and many of the municipalities, came up with agreements about what could and could not be annexed by the various communities. In Mecklenburg County, Extraterritorial Jurisdictions, or ETJs, were established, which essentially spelled out where each of the cities and towns in Mecklenburg County could ultimately expand to. In the last 20 years, however, North Carolina has started amending its annexation laws and has essentially eliminated involuntary annexation. The net result of this is that municipal annexation has slowed dramatically in North Carolina. In Mecklenburg County, there are still areas that are unincorporated. However, most of those areas are contained in an ETJ of one of the cities or towns in the county. The result of this is there really is no mystery as to where the unincorporated areas will ultimately end up if they are incorporated. So theoretically, all of Mecklenburg County 
will eventually be part of either the city of Charlotte or one of the six towns in Mecklenburg County. A requirement of annexation in North Carolina is that the city or town provide public safety services, including fire protection. Prior to the slowing of annexation, it was generally assumed that many of the departments in the county would be disbanded or consolidated with the municipal department and the community that would ultimately incorporate them. And while that has happened to a limited extent, that outcome is no longer certain and many of the departments serving unincorporated areas continue to thrive and are actually expanding. And just a quick note, I have planned a video all about the departments in Mecklenburg County that are now defunct and no longer exist. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those. So as of 2024, in addition to the Charlotte Fire Department, there are 13 fire departments serving areas of Mecklenburg County. They are shown on the map with their districts in red and in alphabetical order, those departments are the Carolina Volunteer Fire Department located in the southern portion of the county, Cook's Community Volunteer Fire Department located in the northwestern part of the county, the Cornelius Lemley Fire Department serving the town of Cornelius and the unincorporated areas of their ETJ, the Davidson Fire Department serving the town of Davidson and their rural areas, the Huntersville Fire Department serving the town of Huntersville and the rural areas in the surrounding ETJ, the Idlewild Fire Department serving a small portion of southeastern Mecklenburg County, the Long Creek Volunteer Fire Department serving an unincorporated area in the northwestern part of the county adjacent to Cook's, the Matthews Fire and Emergency Medical Services Department serving the town of Matthews, the Mid Hill Fire Department serving the town of Mid Hill and the rural areas in their ETJ, the Pineville Fire Department serving the town of Pineville, the Robinson Volunteer Fire Department serving the rural areas in eastern Mecklenburg County, the Steel Creek Volunteer Fire Department serving the unincorporated areas in the southwestern portions of the county, and the West Mecklenburg Volunteer Fire Department serving the western area of the county. All of the fire departments in Mecklenburg County, including the Charlotte Fire Department, provide general fire suppression services and first responder EMS services. None of the departments actually operate any type of EMS transport service, i.e. an ambulance, although in the past, several of them did provide that service. EMS services, including transport services in North Carolina are typically the responsibility of the county to provide. In Mecklenburg County, the old county EMS agency was eliminated several years ago and Medic is now the EMS provider for the entire county. Medic is a consortium made up of a board with members from Mecklenburg County, as well as the two major health service providers in the county, Atrium Health and Novant Health. Medic also provides dispatching services for all of the fire departments in Mecklenburg County with the exception of the Charlotte Fire Department who provide their own. All of the departments in Mecklenburg County operate with automatic aid agreements with all of their neighboring departments, both inside and outside the county. And for some of the Southern departments, this includes automatic aid arrangements 
with departments in neighboring South Carolina. Operating budgets for the 13 departments in the county come from a variety of sources. For the five municipal departments, which include Cornelius Lemley, Davidson, Pineville, Matthews, and Min Hill, they get their budget from the municipality. Several of those departments also serve rural unincorporated areas and money for protecting those areas is typically provided by Mecklenburg County through taxes collected by the Fire Protection Services District. The other eight departments all operate as a nonprofit entity. Huntersville, the largest of the departments in the county besides Charlotte, contracts with the town of Huntersville to provide services for the incorporated areas of the town, as well as receiving money from the county for the rural areas in the town's ETJ. The other departments all receive their funding through the county through the use of Fire Protection Services District funds. Or in some cases, if those departments serve an area of one of the incorporated towns, they typically will receive funding through the town for that portion of their services. An example of this is Idlewild, whose actual district is fairly small. However, they provide services to areas of both Matthews and Mint Hill, so both those towns also supplement the Idlewild Fire Department's budget. In recent years, the county has agreed to fund many of those departments so that they can provide staff services 24-7. While there are still some volunteer departments, most of the staffing provided by these departments is in the form of part-time and in some cases, some full-time staff. As I mentioned earlier, most of the departments in the county are likely to continue on for some time. The one notable exception is the Idlewild Volunteer Fire Department. Their district is reduced to two distinct parts between the towns of Matthews and Min Hill. With both those departments expanding and building new stations, it is anticipated that the Idlewild Fire Department will be disbanded in the coming year or two. One final reminder, I have planned videos for each of the county departments that will go into more detail about their operations, staffing, and equipment in the near future. So that's a quick overview of a bunch of the other departments in the county. Hopefully you found it interesting and enjoyable. And if you did, please give it the old thumbs up and like it. And I would ask you if you want to see more of these, please subscribe. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will get to each of them uh, as quickly as I can. Otherwise, we'll just see you in the next video.